everybody, thanks for joining. If you're new, my name is Eva, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back to another video. So in today's video, I want to show you a new vintage coach bag that I've just recently received. But before we get into that, I thought I would show you this new product. So I'm working from home today, not wearing any makeup, but I just put on this product and I got it because Winnie B. LV was talking about it in one of her recent videos. When I got it out of the box, I just thought it was so interesting. I've never really seen anything quite like this before. It's called a three color repair. And you can see that there are three colors in this uh, tube, bottle, pump. Yeah, it's a pump. <laughs> just uh, come out of the pump and then they all like blend together and it just feels very very light like I feel like I'm wearing like nothing on my face yeah so I was really uh, pleased to find this I will put the brand name and the full title of this in the description box uh, below and it was also really affordable like this was under ten dollars thank you Winnie for the recommendation so like I said I learned about that in one of Winnie's recent videos and in one of my recent videos last week, I think I jinxed myself <laughs> because I was talking about, you know, that we were having very cold temperatures here, just like most of the country. But then I said something like, oh, we're, we've been so lucky because we haven't had any uh, snow or ice. The day after that video went live, we got snow. So my boys had a snow day. They were so happy. I still had to go into work, but I wish I'd been able to be home with them because my husband said they had a ball playing out in the snow. He said basically they were just in and out, in and out all day long. That was our first significant snow like for a while. And in case you don't know, I have a six year old twin boys. So you can just only imagine what exciting time that was for them. And just for fun, I thought I would show you a pic of their first time playing in the snow. And Charlie also wanted to get in on the action today. So we're not here just to talk about the weather. We're here to talk about a handbag today. And I have one I want to show you. It's Vintage Coach. And it is this little cutie right here. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Not quite sure about the technical name for this bag. I've just figured out it's called the Carousel Bag. Style 9942. One of the reasons I like this bag is because of the top handle design. And it has a place to attach a strap. It's a very small attachment, but it's here and here. And I think this bag looks so retro and modern at the same time. It's like a very simplistic silhouette, has that modern edge to it, but at the same time it's made out of this incredible vintage coach leather. The leather on this is so soft and I just gave it a light clean and condition after I received it and it feels even better. So here's a tour of the bag. This is the front side the back and here's what the base looks like. When it came to me this little hang tag was attached to the ring here for the strap but I brought it over and put it on this charm. I just thought that it kind of looked cute on here. Uh, this T Rose charm I got it from Coach last season and there's a little bit of a dark red or burgundy kind of a bead or pearl around. And I think that just kind of gives a nice little accent here, kind of makes it cheery and a little bit more spring-like, which definitely sounds nice right about now. This bag has a zipper closure. And when you open it up, like the zipper comes all the way down on the side here. And the tail of the zipper is attached here on this side of the bag. And on the front wall of the bag, there's a slip pocket. And on the back wall of the bag, there is a zippered pocket and this pocket comes out. This is where you can find the Creed. Now, I've just recently received it, had it long enough to, like I said, clean and give it a little conditioner, and I've just played around with it a little bit. The only thing that I notice I don't love about it is that this side panel is a little bit confused because sometimes it like pooches out, but not all of it, just kind of one part of it, and then I can kind of push it back in when it's empty. This side is controlled because of the zipper tail, but this side of the bag does get a little bit out of control you know when the leather kind of comes out like this what I'm saying is that it doesn't look like symmetrical it doesn't always have a symmetrical shape but I think I'm the only one <laughs> that notices that like if I'm out and carrying it or whatever it's it's not gonna be noticeable so as you can tell I'm uh, pretty casual today and this is my bag of the day I really like to wear this bag when I wear sportswear because you know the colors go well together my school colors are red and black so I thought we would take the contents of this bag, which by the way, is the Longchamp Le Pliage Neo in the size small with this very fun LGP print all over it. So I thought we would take the contents of this bag 
and put them into my new vintage coach bag. So here's what my bag looks like packed up. And if you've watched my videos before, you're probably quite familiar with the regular contents of my bag. I'll start here with a mini pochette. And for size comparison, you can see how that fits in nicely there. And in this mini pochette, I have my key fob and some lip glosses, a few other little random things that, you know, I don't want to get lost and float around in the bag. I have this Kate Spade wallet and I'm using this as my cash wallet. And then for all my cards, I have this Gucci wallet. I've said enough that I love that. <laughs> Here's what it's looking like so far. Now a few little things. I'm gonna put this hand sanitizer in. Uh, my medication, unfortunately, I need to keep that with me all the time in case of headaches. I'm gonna slide this pack of gum into that front slip pocket. Just kind of keeps it tucked away. And then I'm just gonna throw this pair of readers on the top. They're just they're just little cheapos. They, they won't hurt too bad. Because I know that really bothers some of you. <laughs> so here's how the bag looks packed up like this. I don't have anything in the back zipper pocket, but this is, this is the perfect amount. It's like, it's just right. And then we're going to zip it up. See what I mean? This little part here just kind of poofs out like that. Before I try it on for you, let me show you the strap that comes with this bag. So this comes with a very thin uh, leather strap. It is adjustable. It has several holes here. So there's quite a bit of uh, variability in the length and it has these dog leash uh, type closures. And these are quite small, which makes sense because the little ring attachments here are also quite small. This strap is okay. I think it would actually look pretty good if I, if I had a little bit more of a dressy outfit on, but I'm gonna try this guitar strap uh, because it has red leather trim and gold hardware. And I thought it might be something fun and also just a little bit more casual but the strap itself is burgundy and it has a little bit of a pink thread to it for the coach branding. This has a very small attachment, so it will work with this bag. So I hope to wear this bag mostly handheld because these handles are really nice and comfortable in the grip. Okay, so this is what it looks like handheld. So you can see kind of the size and proportion against me. I think that's really cute. Like it could definitely be uh, more of a casual bag, or I think it'd also look great if, uh, if you're wearing more dressy clothes. I think it's super cute. So here I've got the original strap that came with the bag. Like I said, there's quite a bit of room for adjustment here, and I've got it on the middle setting. Here, as you can see, I've attached the guitar strap, or, you know, it's not really as wide as most guitar straps. I uh, think maybe just a fabric strap or a web strap might be a good thing to call it. Anyway, regardless, this is what it looks like. This is definitely more comfortable because I think it helps distribute the weight. And I think I like how it looks, you know, with this more casual outfit. I don't know, tell me what you think. I'd be interested to hear your comments below. And I really like the look of this. If I were to wear it handheld and just have that strap dangling down the side, I think that looks pretty cute. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm really happy to add this bag to my Vintage Coach collection. Also, I will list my Vintage Coach playlist in the description box in case you're just in the mood to watch more videos about Vintage Coach bags. Well, you take care and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.